Notion Publishers Podcast. This is Sean Richmond. I'm excited to have you join us. As you know, Goshen is a publishing company. We provide a full range of publishing services. So from writing coaching to editing and then to marketing, and then of course, um, supporting our authors as they get their products out there. Uh, we're just a full service organization. And what I think separates Goshen apart from many other publishing companies is that we are a faith-based uh, company. And what that means is we produce books that are specifically intended to draw people closer to God. All of our authors are authors of memoirs, novels, study guides, and so forth that are all Bible-based. And I'm excited on today's episode to introduce you to our newest author, newest to Goshen, but not new to the world of writing, my dear friend. Tanya Hagerbrook. Welcome, Tanya. Hi, Sean. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Tanya, we've been talking about your books for a very long time. When we first met, back when, <laughs> back during our, I think back during our Y2K days, Tanya, yes. when we first met, you had already published books I think in the early 2000s. So this, you're not new to the world of writing, huh? No, no. Okay. And so the, the books that you write, do you have a particular audience that you're writing for? Well, you know, I, I do because when I started writing, and actually, I actually started in the 90s. And I, I started writing out of, um, out of a, a healing healing uh, from a divorce. And so um, I just started reading different things about healing, different things about what was important for children who were going through a divorce. And so I put up, took all of that pain and all that learning and I put it into starting writing books. So I actually started writing the books in 1996. Was it 96? Um, I may have the date off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, actually, it was 1996. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So these have been a long time coming because I'm looking at the book, the first of your series of youth books, those written specifically for, um, for youth, for young adults, although that's your audience. I think everybody could benefit from your books. Um, they're well written, and I think particularly for new believers, those who are new to Christianity, because what we're finding, uh, we being my team, Tanya, what we're finding is that your writing style is one where you really break down what could be complicated concepts into very understandable language. So would you say that you're gifted to write for younger people? I think I'm gifted to write to um any audience, uh, and I, I have to credit um, some of the great ministers and pastors that, uh, as shepherds, they they took the our congregation under their wings and made sure we we learn properly. And then learning is uh, teaching is just part of. Um, I think it's just really part of who I am. My my mother, even though my mother only had a tenth grade education, my mother was a minister. And she was a teacher. My dad teaches. So it, that is, it's in our blood. In, on my dad's side, we have a lot of educators. So that part is in the, the blood, my blood. Um, but my thing is, I wanted to write so that anybody, it could be a child, it could be a teenager, it could be a young adult, it can be an older person, but they would be able to read what I've written and be able to reflect on it and understand it in, in their everyday life. So that's how I always ask the Lord, whatever I convey, make sure I convey it so that, you know, the person from the most simplest life would be able to understand. You've accomplished just that. I'm certain of it. Your, your books are just, they're easy reads. And so while they're packed with helpful tips. They're packed with lots of useful information. 
and they serve as a wonderful guide. They're also um, the, the curl up and read kind of book. So um, I think your audience is going to be pleased with the refresh of your upcoming release, uh, God's Plan for Humanity. I love that title, Tanya. God's Plan for Humanity. And then you expound upon God's purpose, his provision, and his prosperity. For those who are listening now who might question God's plan for humanity, maybe they haven't read your book just yet, again, because this is a refresh from your 2004 publication, so this will be your your second edition that's coming out. Mm -hmm. But for those who maybe aren't clear on God's plan for humanity, how would you explain that to that audience? You know, the way I would explain it, it, because, you know, life, we have so many ups and downs. And like I said, a lot of this, my writing came from brokenness, um, you know, saying, Lord, okay, I've done everything that you said I'm supposed to do. And my marriage isn't working. Uh, I now got three kids. I got to raise on my own. I, I'm just starting a business. And so, you know, I started looking at all of these different things that were going on. And then I had to remember, that despite what I'm seeing, God had a perfect plan for me. And even though at that time, in um, when I first my my when my ex husband and I first separated, it was in 1994. You know, sometimes you sit around and you wonder, okay, so what am I going to do now? And so from that time, that point of brokenness until the time I just had to say, okay, Lord, now I'm going to start depending on you. And then I had to remember his promises are true. And so we have to remember all that we go through is part, it's, it's like taking the ingredients in, uh, to make that cake, that wonderful, perfect cake that, that's going to be perfect and everybody's going to love. And so all of that is part of the ingredients, the sorrows, the hardships, you know, the, the victories, the celebrations, it all goes together into that plan that God has for you so that when you come out on the other side, you really see, okay, all of that was for making me what I need to be in you so that you can bless me. And so um, the thing we got to remember about the plan, God plans, they don't fail. And we just got to trust them. No matter how hard things seem, we have to trust them. And that's um, that was the purpose of this book, so that we never forget uh, there's a purpose, there's always going to be a provision to go through all that we have to go through, and at the end of that journey, there's prosperity. And so we have to remember God is never going to abandon his plan, so we just have to stay steadfast and keep trusting. Amen to that. Amen to that. And I think you explained that beautifully. In the book, um, with chapter chapter one talks about God's purpose for humanity. Chapter two talks about God's provision. Chapter three is about God's prosperity, and then chapter four. I won't do uh, any spoilers, but chapter four again. I think you summarize well God's plan for humanity. So we are very proud to get this this book out there, and just to teach more people about living in and walking in God's plan. Now, I will say that while we're preparing your marketing, what we're seeing, Tanya, is that there is no one specific audience that we're targeting. I'm not even sure that this book um, should only go into the hands of people who are already saved, who are already in the church, because you seem to have a gifted way of um, a true talent for incorporating scriptures and explaining them. And so your book has lots of scripture references. How do you determine which scriptures to include? How do you know? How, How does that process work that you're telling a story, but you have Bible verses interweave throughout the story? That took a lot of laboring before the Lord because you know, I, I just said, Lord, I know it's your word that delivers. You know, it's great for us to write 
uh, books and, and give words of exhortation, but it's always the word that draws and that heals and that delivers. And so the, the thing I would do is um, when I, I when I would write the books, I would labor before the Lord. And at that time, um, the person who was praying with me, she too was going through a separation. And so, you know, we would pray together and the Lord would give the scriptures because, you know, I am, I am uh, not one of, uh, you know, I, I, I do my Bible study, but for someone to be able to say, I've read the Bible back and forth 10 and 20 times. No, that was not me. And so I had to rely on the Holy Spirit to guide me to the scriptures to put in these books and, and in this book. So it was my trust and reliance on the Lord's guidance. And I think it's obvious. It is very obvious that there was um, um, lots of prayer and lots of labor into organizing the content for your book so that it would have such a natural flow. When we, when we look at the copyright content, Tanya, of course, your, your release date is going to be in just a few weeks. And so um, the copyright year will, will obviously be this year, 2020. But the, this original book, God's Plan for Humanity, had been originally published in 2004. So from 2004 to 2020. Did you feel that the book needed to be refreshed? Um, why revise and republish now? Well, I did feel like the, 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 the book so much needed to be refreshed as far as the content, but the republishing and the republishing had to be. And, and actually, <laughs> Sean, when I saw you publish your book, I was inspired. And and so then I, I you remember I purchased your book and then I saw you go that step further and said, okay, I started a publishing company and I was just like, Lord, are you speaking to me to tell me to get uh, get dust off those books and get them back out there? And then it, uh, I remembered uh, one of one of the other books that I do have that um you know that's upcoming that you will eventually publish also. I was. On the subway, I was on the subway doing an edit on that book, maybe about 10 years ago. And it was, I didn't realize there was a lady looking over my shoulder reading the book. And she said to me, ma'am, where can I get that book? And I felt so guilty when she said that. I felt so guilty. And I said, ma'am, I said, wow, you know, I really feel guilty that you're asking me that. She said, and I said, why are you? Ask me where you could get it. She said, because if I had that book when I was raising my children, I would have a different story. And that convicted me. So then when I saw you publish your book and you start a company and I started reading about, you know, your vision for Goshen, I said, Lord, it's time. You're telling me it's time. And so uh, the, the, the content message hasn't changed. It's just that you know, God has put a vehicle, which is Goshen Publishers, there for me to take it to a new level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I could see that when we, when we edited, Tanya, for your refresh, you're absolutely right. We didn't change content at all. Um, some references we change to make more modern. For example, you know, in the original book, when the original was published, people weren't using cell phones and they weren't using the internet regularly. And, you know, there was no social media. And so, you know, interweaving um, just some contemporary references in for today's reader was really all we had to do. And then we were very careful to not change your content, not change your message. And of course, we gave you that fancy new um, cover. I hope you like your new book cover. I love the cover. (laughs) Yeah, it it turns out that your cover is my favorite color and um and I'm okay with I'm okay <laughs> with that. And so let's see. So Tanya, your book is scheduled to release. I don't have the exact release date, but definitely in the next few weeks because we have our proof copy that we're doing our final run through just to make sure there are no typos or mistakes or errors and um and then we'll be ready to plan your first launch of course with 
COVID-19, it might be a virtual launch, but, you know, we have ways of making that work too, you know? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, looking forward to your launch. In the meantime, uh, folks who want to reach you can reach you under our author's page at GoshenPublishers.com. We'll have links there to your social media, your contact information if they want to reach out to you in advance. In the next week or two, they'll be able to go there to pre-order your book. And then, of course, they'll be able to, to follow you as you move forward when you have speaking engagements and book events and future, future podcasts. And so, again, at GoshenPublishers.com, under our new authors, you can click on Tanya Hogabrook. And um, and just stay in touch so that in a few weeks you can get a copy of God's plan for humanity. Uh, before we wrap up, Tanya, is there anything you'd like to say to your audience, to your family, your friends, your readers? Well, you know, I just want to encourage everybody. You know, God puts God puts a, a desire in our hearts, and even if you feel like you've have not moved as fast as you think you should or whatever, just, you know, a delay doesn't mean a denial so that it, in God's time, everything will come to fruition because, um, you know, I've had these books sitting around, you know, and I've sold them and they, and and for a while they were selling really, uh, they were, they were selling good. I had them in uh, some of the local gospel stores, but uh, I just feel that this is the right time that that God is saying, this is it, this is the time, and I'm going to take it to a new height because of, and, and plus because of what is happening in in our society. So my, I just want to encourage everyone, never give up on that desire that God has put in you. That gift is for you to, uh, not just for you, but it's for you to use for the world. So uh, use that gift, be steadfast with with that, with that vision that you have for that gift, God is just going to bless and make everything flourish the way he's planned it to be. So just never give up on your dreams. Never, ever. I think that's the best advice I've heard in a very long time, just to not give up. And so I do think, Tanya, that your book will, um, I'm not just saying it because we published it, but because I really do enjoy the reading and because um it motivates me as well, you know, and it inspires me as well. And so as someone who's editing and publishing, if I'm inspired, I can only imagine the reader who's seeking that information, how they would be inspired. And so once again, in just a few more weeks, we will be releasing the paperback book and the ebook, both on Amazon and on Goshen Publishers. Thank you, Tanya, for joining us. For our podcast episode three. I'm so happy you were able to make it. Thank you. Thank you for everything. And I just want to, you know, I just want to really thank God for Goshen Publishers and just thank you, Sean, for walking in your gift. Thank you. Thank you. I, um, I got to admit, it's of all the jobs I've had, this is my most fun one. It's the most fulfilling, the most rewarding. Um, of all the things that I do, this is what I enjoy the most. So. Um, I'm honored. Anytime, you know, new authors, Tanya, you know, authors labor over their books, lots of time and research and prayer and effort. And so when an author reaches out to Goshen Publishers, you know, and then trusts us to edit and publish and market a product that they've worked on many times, you know, for several years, it's an honor. It's an honor. So I don't take it lightly. Thank you for trusting us. Um, I pray that you will be well pleased with the services we're providing. And uh, to our listeners, once again, at GoshenPublishers.com, under New Authors, you can click on Tanya's link and, and start to follow her there. And thank you for listening. Keep reading and keep writing with Goshen Publishers. Yeah.